I want to build a trailer. Guys, Steve from Australian Four by Four Adventures, and I'm starting a new series. <laughs> so I'm hoping, like hell, that I can actually pull, pull through with this one because I kind of I've been wanting to do this for ages, but I've never been brave enough because I don't think I have the skill set to do it. But I think I just want to give it a go because what's the worst can happen? I waste a bit of money. Whatever, it is what it is. So I have a trailer. So this trailer is a 8x5 single axle tipper trailer that I bought when I built the house to, um, as a rubbish trailer and all I said to them is I'll sell it when I'm done I swear <laughs> and I never sold it for some reason you know because you never sell stuff once you actually buy it so it's been sitting up at my house now for I don't know a year and I think I've used it twice in that year because I've got another big 10x8 tandem trailer that I use for, for work most of the time so with this one I want to turn it into a camper trailer like not a super off-roady go anywhere not gonna it's never gonna break a uh, uh, stupid trailer but something I can use for for smaller trips just for me and Tobes um, even Lan and Piper if they, if they come as well um, they probably want they probably want the caravan though but I want it that it's quick easy nimble and light that's the goal with it all so I want to build a trailer. So a couple of reasons I want to go for reusing this trailer as opposed to building one from the ground up is a couple of reasons. One, I don't think, I, I don't think I've got the skill set to actually make an entire frame and go for it. And plus the time and everything else that, go, that goes with that. Plus the cost of making it all, it adds up by the time you buy everything. Considering I already own this trailer, I figure I may as well utilize it rather than sell it and then have to start again. Um, so keep in mind, when I say I don't have the skill set, yes buddy, Toby's, Toby's listening. <laughs> um, I have never welded a thing in my life. It's just not a skill set that I have, not, not one that I've ever Hi. required. Been a couple of jobs that I wish I knew how to, but I've always got someone there that sort of knows Hi. how to do it. Hi! <laughs> Loves it. Um, so it's going to be a hell of a learning curve for me for not knowing how to weld and I've got to make try and make this entire top section of the, of the trailer plus do a couple of modifications underneath it to to reinforce this one because this is a light duty trailer it's only rated it, do, it doesn't have electric brakes and I don't plan on putting them on unless I have to so as long as I can keep it under that 750 kilo mark I don't need electric brakes I don't plan on taking it on stupid four-wheel drive tracks that I need electric brakes the car should be enough Having said that, if I find that down the track I need it, it can just be another part of the, the, the build series that, I'm, that I can add on to and, and put electric brakes in there. And I, I don't want to say show you how to do it because I might do it wrong. <laughs> but I feel there's a big enough section of audience that are in the exact same boat as me. They really want to do it, don't necessarily have the skill set and they're not brave enough to give it a go. And to be honest with you, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> Like, I'm, this trailer cost me two and a half grand when I first bought it. Like, it might just kind of wreck my trailer. <laughs> and just, oh, oh, a little bit worried about that. So, I'm going to start off relatively easy. A couple of mo modifications. So, first things are going to be with the axle. At the moment, obviously, it's, it's fairly low there. Uh, the axle is on top of the spring. I'm going to basically put it underneath the spring. So, it raises everything up about 100 mil. So instant 100 mil lift right there. Probably gonna end up changing the hubs over as well so I can get a different um, different rim on there and put maybe some 31s or 33s depending on how much room we've got in the wheel arches. I'll measure that up once I've done the lift. Um, and then just get some bigger tires for more ground clearance. It also gives me more sidewall in the tire so when I let them down, a little bit squishier, a um, little bit easier on the trailer overall. It means it's not as rough, things don't break quite as easy. Uh, plan for this trailer 
is I want to try and take it to the Big Red Bash next year in 2023. That's the hope. So we are taking the caravan as well, but I've got some other friends coming along that um, want to hire a van. I don't think they're going to be, hire, be able to hire a van to take it to the Big Red Bash. So I'm kind of building this for them, even though it's mine. Sounds weird, but if, if, if I can help out, then I will. Plus it's also content and everything else, so that's what I want to do. So today is pretty much just going to be trying to do that uh, axle over, uh, underslung axle conversion or overslung axle conversion, whichever way, uh, to get that done. And then over the coming weeks, months, whatever, we'll start modifying all the top, putting like water tanks in, electrical setup, um, kitchen. So it's gonna be a full, full slide out kitchen, um, upright fridge in there as well. I've got a bit of a plan drawn up, which I'll grab, I'll grab soon and I'll show you the overall plan of, of, of attack for the entire thing. All right, first things first, let's do some really dodgy stuff because I'm all my um, jacks and stuff are at work and I'm at home. So I've actually cleared a space out in the shed. So that whole bay now is clear just for the trailer. So that goes in there. Um, but my jack, jacks and stuff are at work where I normally change tires for the car. So the only thing I have at home is a dodgy high lift jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gonna die with a high lift jack. <laughs> Leanne's gone out as well, so you know this could this could end bad. <laughs> so gonna be back of the trailer. Front's just gonna be on the jockey wheel, just so I can get the wheels off, um, change over that axle. It's, it's dodgy as, like super dodgy. <laughs> Definitely not the preferred way of lifting up any egg at all. How the jacks suck. Alright, so this is your typical trailer set up with a leaf and, the, and an axle. So you obviously got the axle coming through, got your U-bolts holding your leaf pack to your axle, and then this one's got a, a little bracket welded to the axle to basically keep it aligned and everything else to the axle itself. All we're gonna do is basically undo these two U-bolts, take the axle out, put it underneath with this facing up, as in this little bracket here, and then redo the, redo, redo the U-bolts up from the other, other direction. Should be super simple, so let's find out. So the only other thing that's going to be in place is this little nut here, which goes through, I think. No, that's just the locator nut. So there you go, so the axle's already basically out. So I'll go to the other side and then it's basically put it up underneath and then redo everything up from the other direction. Got a little bit creative in, in how to hold the axle up while I'm trying to work with it. So there's a nut on the, or the nut on the bolt is on the bottom side, which is the same size as the top, luckily. So that acts as our, our locator there, so there's no movement in that as well. So now it's essentially just do everything in reverse. So you can grab your plate and just essentially chuck it back on top.
There you go, that shows you the height difference. So that had, that was probably about 60 mil off the ground before, now it's about 60 or 70 mil. I need to raise it still to get the hub on. Technically, the measurement difference is only 90 mil. It should, it should, should give me the height, so an extra close to four inch, four inch lift, straight away, it's good. Right, so it's ever, ever it's back on the ground now. Finally got rid of that high lift jack. Um, before I started, I actually put a level on the cage and got the trailer sitting level with the jockey wheel. So now everything's back up. I haven't adjusted the jockey wheel at all. You can see that's well and truly out of level. That's like down there somewhere. So over a, a 900 mil level, that's about 50 mil just in that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll get a measurement of what it's currently sitting at now on the ground for the draw bar. I'll wind it up so it's level, get another measurement, and that's gonna give us a slightly more, a better indication of how much my ball height has come up because generally I'm driving, well, I used to drive a 200 series, uh, tow balls and those things were super high. Going into a 62, they're also really high as well because they're integrated into the Razzler rear bar. So I, I wanted the ground clearance just for that so I didn't have to have a drop down hitch to get the buddy, um, the trailer to hook up. It looks cool, like, even with little tiny, tiny cheese cutter tires on there. Have a look at that one. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. There is so much more guard clearance in there. So what that, what that means is I can get bigger tires in there, give me a little bit more lift again, which the tire size diameter is gonna give me axle clearance. So that's, I know a few of you, oh, all you've done is increase the body height. Yes, I know, because that increases departure and approach angles as well. So that was done on purpose. And then the tire size gives me more axle clearance. Yes, I know I can go to independent suspension, but this is all done on a budget. Like I'm trying to keep things as cheap and economical as I can. Yes, I'm gonna spend a few grand. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna cost nothing, but I'm trying to do stuff on the cheap where I can. All right, let's do this drawbar. 390 mil to the underside of the lip. This is gonna go up heaps. It's a 525. 390 to 525, that's huge. So it's, what's that? it's a 115 mil-ish, top of my head, without doing math properly. Yeah, somewhere, anyway. <laughs> Forgive me, it's Sunday. <laughs> I don't do math on Sunday. Um, but just that alone gives the entire trailer a whole lot more media stand. I know it's not the, the toughest looking trailer, but that has already made a massive difference already. So I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. The top part. So I was gonna reuse the frame as part of the, um, the structure for it on the build because it was gonna save me a little bit on materials and it was gonna save me on having to weld stuff. So I was gonna make doors up. I was gonna basically cut the mesh out and make doors up for each individual section. But it, once I drew it down and actually worked out what I wanted to put in there and how I wanted to use it, there was a lot of, a lot of wasted space in there. So I'm actually gonna take this off altogether store it somewhere because I know this trailer might go back to being what it was eventually who knows and I'm gonna make my own frame up and height and everything else plan plan of attack is obviously to have something very similar in height to this awning up above there so I have a two, two, uh, 270 awning that comes out from there and a rooftop tent on top so I'm thinking like like a sandwich one something like that. to be honest with you I'm probably gonna look like a Kings or something cheap because I don't want to spend five grand on an LU cab or something like that or, or a bush company or all those big, big, I'm sure they're fantastic tents and, and I would love them, but I don't want to spend five grand on it. It's just a lot of money. So it'd be something cheap. Hi Tobes, where's your boots? Come on. Of course he comes up. We'd know, where is he? Here he is with no boots on. <laughs>
<laughs> so now I'm sure he's got drenched socks because you know it's been raining here for like a month. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to take the cage off. I'll end up making a false floor for, for all of this section there. So all of that trailer section that's currently there is going to become storage. So there's going to be a water tank up. Oh, sorry, mate. I'll move it. So there's going to be a water tank mounted inside. So I'm, I want to try and mount everything in the trailer rather than under the trailer. Two reasons. One, because it's um, I don't want to sacrifice ground clearance. It's already going to be low enough as it is, even with this extra 105 mil. Um, secondly, it's it's already an added uh, layer of protection there. So I've already got a checker plate floor there. It means I don't have to do bash plates. I don't have to do uh, different types of insulation. It's all just there for me. So I can do water tank, pump, all that sort of stuff up the front, divide that off, and then the back of it, I'm probably just gonna leave open so I can store longer stuff. So if I've got my, um, if I'm taking a, a stretcher bed for a swag for some reason, if I'm, say, say, Leanne and I are going, and we're, we're staying in the rooftop tent, kids might stay in the swag, I'm talking when they're slightly older, not now. I've got room under there to store chairs and tables and extra bits and bobs that you always wanna take camping. That's what I want it for. I just want, I just want storage, which should work out nicely. Um, so then I'll do do that false floor all the way across from from this level down down here, and then we're going to build boxes on top of that, which you're going to make up. So that light is just destroying the camera. So sorry about that, but it is what it is. Um, make boxes on top of that, so it'd be fridge, um, uh, pull out pantry, kitchen, uh, induction. Like it's, this is going to be full electric. I'm not going to do gas. So part of the reason I'm not going to do gas is because I don't have to get gas uh, certification in. As soon as you start doing gas, you've got to get it signed off on it. To do, to do things properly anyway, and I like to do things properly. Other part of why I'm trying to reuse this trailer and not build my own is because then I don't have to go through engineering and get things registered. As long as I'm not mucking around with the suspension too much, which technically that's all still factory suspension. I <laughs> just swapped it around, it's fine. Um, I don't have to go get things engineered. I don't have to do anything funky with it. It all just works. It just makes my life a lot easier. So, let's get this thing off. So now uh, Tobes has found his new home. I'll probably call that a day. I might just go do, do a bit more planning now that this is all sort of sorted. I think the next part, and the next video is probably gonna be, I've got to order a whole bunch of bits and bobs. So some metal. I've um, actually bought a welder. <laughs> this is how new I am. I don't even own a welder and I'm taking on this freaking project. I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid, eh Tobes? So, in the trailer. Uh, Order some metal, start making that up, do some of that, the, the, the floor. Uh, I got my work cut out for me, that's for sure. All right, so if you wanna keep following along and watch the build, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and Toby, we're gonna see him next week. We'll see you next week. <laughs>